Hey traders, what's going on? Todd here with TradingAnalysis.com. We're gonna do this free video update. This is for March 1st on Tuesday, and we sold Netflix today. So I wanna take you through the trade, give you the chart setup, I'm gonna show you why we moved in. We did it in the options market, so let's show you what we were thinking here. Um, all right, this is a 195 minute chart on Netflix, and it's a good Elliott Wave setup. The, the, the largest correction that we can see so far up until uh, early January is this guy right here. So that's gonna be your second wave. Nice drop down in wave three. And now we're getting that fourth wave correction. So I've done the Elliott for you. Um, some of the heavy lifting, for those of you who are not into it that much, don't worry. First thing you need to know is wave four can't go into the territory of wave four. Okay, so that's gonna be right there at 104. 0.75, that's the line in the sand. That's where the trade is wrong. And I think as traders, we always need to decide you know, where is the trade wrong to start. Always consider the risk side of the equation first, and then let's, let's jump in the reward. So that's where it's wrong. So where should wave four start? There's two steps that I follow every single time with this. First thing we do is we look at the distance traveled in wave two, and let's compare it to the potential distance traveled in wave four. And using the motive wave software here, it's really easy, just go ratio analysis, 4v2, and we're gonna get rid of everything above 104.74, right? Because that is your invalidation, which I can just change that label. And we'll get rid of you, and we'll get rid of you. Everything else is still valid, and I'm gonna change that to a 1272. Second step is I wanna compare the drop in wave three and do a simple fib retracement in wave four. That's it. So same thing, ratio analysis, 4v3. It's gonna be right there. And now you're just simply looking for a clustering. And you know, the zones are right. I mean, it's right there. The two green levels, those are your ideal uh, resistance zones at about 94.60. And then we have a couple orange guys up here, which is your outer uh, resistance. So that ranges from 99 to 103. So <clears throat> one of the things that I hear a lot is Elliot's too or Elliot and Fib specifically, too subjective to be of any use. You know, how do you know where it's gonna stop? Well, good news is guys, you don't need to know exactly which one of these zones right there is going to hold the price. That's why I love trading options with Elliott and Fib because guys, you know, we're in a pretty high implied volatility market here. I don't really know or care all that much where exactly if we stop at 98 or 100 or 101. I just want to sell call options above resistance and specifically above our wave count validation, right? So this zone should hold um, right in here. So the trade that I put on uh, in the April 1 weeklies, we sold the April 1 uh, 98 call, 101 call. So, so that's a call credit spread. So we sold the 98 calls, bought the 101 calls for a call credit spread. Took it a dollar, I believe, uh, 253. It took it a dollar, right? So dollar credit for $2 of risk. Um, that's fine, you know, we're well above um, resistance. And what's interesting here is if we look at the option chain in that position, um, the standard deviation, the one standard deviation is $11.37 right there. So you add that to 93.41, so that's what? 94.41, so 90, or 104.41, $104.80, 104 give or take, 105. So if you were just selling the one standard deviation, you would be selling up here above Fib resistance. Elliott and Fib is telling you, you don't need to go so far as sell the plus one standard deviation. You could sell ahead of that, take in more premium, which makes your risk reward much more attractive. So a lot of times you can cheat the deviations with Fib and Elliott like this. So that's the trade guys. Hope it makes sense. We're getting you more credit using Elliott and Fib rather than just blindly selling the plus one standard deviation. and. Um, skewing your risk reward against you, all right? So guys, hope this video helps. Go ahead and hit the like button if you're watching on YouTube and subscribe to the channel if you like um, what you're seeing here and we'll get these videos to you in real time. Best of luck and we'll talk to you in the next video update.